Welcome to the best beginner guide for new player. I will show you how you easily manage your first day in Norland. We're picking here the recommend starting colony and you should always pick in your first run wood and iron because these are really the most important resources. We're playing just with no scenario here guys and then just go. The first thing you should do is take a look at your lords and their skills guys. You also should rename them so that you know exactly which guy has which skills. This will be also helpful later in the game. So we have our king who has mana and can also fight. Then we have our second guy. This is basically our management dude. So he can manage and he also can trade actually really well. And our girl has uh, intelligence and also teaching. And like this you see easily who is who. Next up. You should also get the mana fighting guy out of your hall and get your manager guy in because then you get a lot more production bonuses. The most important building guys is the library which you can build under service. This building is really important because you need to tech into more buildings to be able to build other structures and your lords will research them. They are living in these three houses. So we should also build a library really near to it so that they have not a long way to work. Second of all, we want to build a lumber mill. And this should get built on the left side, uh, basically right above our house here. Once the library is done, guys, we go on to the knowledge tab. And now we have here our basic knowledge, which is hop field, mine, prison, wife field. Our lords at the moment has not much to do because our village is really small. So we really need to study with all three to unlock as fast as we can uh, our next buildings. The most important building here is the right field. That's why we're getting our intelligence suit onto this. The second most important thing is the hop field. So we're getting this with our manager and the mine is also later important. We can just let our last dude also get here the knowledge of this. After the lumber mill is built, we also want to build a router bugger field right on top on uh, the fertile field, which is signed by this area. Once the lumber mill is done, we, we right click on the building and then we can really easily make our manager also instruct the buildings. Instructing buildings is really important in the game because if you're not instructing the buildings, then the worker won't work and you won't gather any resources. The higher the management level of your manager is, the higher is the bonus production on the build. So we're doing the same now here. Next up is the altar. They also want to pray somewhere and we built this right near our hall. So the tavern I'm placing always right below the market because then you have all the food stuff in one place. At 6 p.m. of the first day, the trader and also one new free lord which you can hire will arrive. You want to take a look at the skills first of all to Ragnar here and see if we have use for her. Ideally in the early game we want to have someone who has combat and command skills because we also want to build up an army. So the trader is arriving and once he's in our settlement we can also click on him and assign um, our manager and trader to trade with him. This is the trading menu guys. What is really important in the early game is rings, iron and tools. You should buy all of this which the trader has. We don't sell anything because we're just starting and need all our resources. And we also need books, guys. Books are basically enabling you to tech into more buildings. And the most important one in the early game is a temple. So we are trading this, closing the menu and being happy. Now we want to take a look at our finance menu. Here you are controlling basically the local demand of all your food and alcoholic drinks. This is important to know because you always want to make your people happy and also more migration will come to your town which you really want in the early game. I can really recommend to do six wages, get flour to three, with a bugger to two, beer also to three per unit, moonshine to two per unit and you set everything to the amount of maximum so that they always can buy it and get always the value out here because then they get happier and then you get more people in the city to grow your city really fast. We also see that one people has no home so we can already build up another house right next to our other house here. And now we want to upgrade also our lumber mill. It's really important that you upgrade buildings instead of building another one because then you have less buildings to manage which will be also really important in the later stage of the game and you're also getting a 10% boost 
on all workers in the building, which is also simply amplifying your production. And this is your starting setup. Now, one word again to the pathing. So the guys are kind of awaking at 7 a.m. Then they go to the work here. They also want to pray in between. And after work at 6 p.m., they actually go to the market and tavern to buy food and drinks. And then they have some free time and go to bed. So they're working always from 9 to 6. And if you have the houses near the hall and also near the workstation and also the food and drink station, then they have really efficient pathing, which is really important to, to maximize your production, guys. And this is the first day for you in Nolan, guys. If you like the video, then subscribe and like there, guys. Thanks.